Hey guys, this is Alex from Top Tennis Training and today we're going to do a video changing someone's serve. So this is a video of us teaching on the court. Hope you enjoy it. Let us know what you think. Okay, so the first thing we're going to work on is you have to try and keep your left hand from throwing arm up for a little bit longer. So then when I throw, it's there and I keep my left arm over and up a little bit longer. What you're doing now is you're putting and then it goes down. Okay. So you're doing this and you kind of almost like throw it away. So you want to keep this left arm up. What this does is it opens up this side so you're able to use your, your, your body a little bit more. And you just your hands to try and keep your left arm a little bit longer. On TV. When they bowl, they go from here and they bowl with a straight arm. Yeah. This is how you're serving at the moment. So at the moment you go from here and you're almost bowling. I know that. What you want to try and do is drop behind the back here yeah. to then extend up. Okay. What this does is it lets your racket yeah. accelerate before you hit the ball. So if I, it's the same as me throwing like this, with no power, and then if you give me the ball here. I have power, so it's the same as the throw. This gives you the time to accelerate the racket. We're going to start in this position here. Now I'm going to hold the racket here. Where right here? And because not, and not in the back. No, here. Because yes. the last position of the serve, as you're hitting, you want to be in this position. So before the racket flies out, if you ever watch a slow motion of any player, the racket is in this position yeah. before it leaves to go up. want to be in this position here so now I'm going to take your racket to be in that position I'm not going to let you go until the ball is starting to come down and you're going to come up from that position okay so I'm going to hold your racket here manually okay no, stop so put the elbow up that's it and I'm going to hold it here that's it and go <laughs> yes that was a lot better again now it's all about timing so try and not go too early here we go yeah. And again. Really try and hold the racket a little bit looser. So the, the, the hand is really loose. It's really loose and the, the, the racket don't hold too tight. Relax the hand, relax the hand. Yes. Don't relax the hand. That's it. And go up. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Again. Keep looking up with the, the ball. Watch the ball, watch the ball. Yes. And hit. Much better. That was good. Again. There you go. Elbow up, break it down, that's it. Go. Perfect. That was a lot I better. Really like. yeah, now, now put the racket there, imagine I'm holding it. So imagine I'm holding that yeah. racket. And then wait for the ball to come up. Okay, better. Again. Perfect. Thank you very much. And again? To the fans. <laughs> you have fans, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Put it up, so a little bit higher and really drop. Really feel this wrist really loose here. Okay. When we drop the racket, the racket drops here. It drops really loose. Loose and go. Better. He said it's uh, uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. But all they knew is yes. like this. Of course. Uncomfortable. uncomfortable. You have to do something. Yeah. 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 It's uncomfortable it takes because like you're starting here. This yeah. is the end position of the racket dropping. Yeah. It's only because you're starting here. Now you want to start from here, then drop, then go. Yeah. It's good if you go from the trophy as well with this small bench. Yeah. If you keep it here and then also the head stays up to see the ball hitting your strings. That's it, perfect. Okay. Yeah. Drop. Again. That's it, perfect. Yeah. Still doesn't go behind, does it? Yeah. Try now one more thing. Try this also. Try to throw just there. But not too high, because if you have too high, you have a chance to cheat. Ah, and go okay, back. okay, okay. Yeah. If you toss and hit, it's much easier. Yep. There. Toss hit. Yes. This timing. Perfect. We keep it a little bit more there. Yeah. And you have more space. That's it. Okay. Was not so bad, huh? Of course, it's a habit. It little, so little bit changed, but. Yeah. 
Once again, something. okay. Okay, and that's something. Yeah. Good. And then you have to build up the flexibility in the shoulder as well. Perfect. For that, yeah. can you show me how far you throw? Yeah. Because no, no, not so far. No, not, not, so so far. far. not so far. When you improve your throwing, not so far. Look at it. Not yeah. So <laughs> so this, <laughs> this for you is more important than the serve. Okay. If he throws every day, 20 times, yeah. in one week your serve is so different from here. If he goes like this yeah. and does just this, yes. and after one week he does 20 every day, he can go to the baseline, his serve is so different. And now I want you to relax the hand and to hit my racket before uh, you hit. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Okay. okay? Yeah, and then you're going to hit the ball. Okay. I want to see it. Okay. Yeah? Good. Uh, yeah. Good. Yeah. Yes. Let it fall. That's it. Let it fall there. Down. Yes. Perfect. Perfect last one. So you, you can stay like this and let it fall so he touches. Chin. Yeah. Chin. Because at the moment he doesn't realize that the racket doesn't go back because yeah. it's here. But he it's... needs to be able to just drop. This part, this drop is very important. It doesn't yeah. require a lot of power. Drop hit. Drop hit. And you can even uh, go very close to the net just from here. Go like this. And you just practice the drop and hit. So you're here. Drop, hit. Drop, hit. Just this. Just sit in here. Try a few. Just put up. Ah. No, no, no. You didn't drop. The drop has to come here. You have to drop and touch my racket. Drop. Yes. That's it. Perfect. Just swinging. Nice and easy. There's no... There's nothing that's holding back. I'm not having any ball. But I'm imagining that my racket is here. So I'm trying to touch my racket to hit. Try to touch my racket to hit. Okay. Right? Without the ball. It's all in one. Um, touch my racket, hit. Perfect. And again, but here, let the sound go. Look, here, I let it go. I, I let it fall. Perfect. Again, see like this? He has the perfect move, look. Yes. Perfect move. Yes. Okay, now you will throw the ball, but you don't hit the ball. Watch. I throw the ball. I do the move. I don't hit the ball. I just throw it anywhere, the ball. Let it go. No. You didn't do the same move. Do it without the ball again. Remember the move? Yes. Again. Drop. Yes. Perfect. Not bad like this. Not bad. Perfect. No. Yeah. Again. Yes. Yeah. And this when is you, what you want. When you do the, without the, the ball, always you keep your chest up. Like this. Okay. When the ball comes, you go down. Ah, okay, so, so if you can keep, go up. yeah, if you keep yourself tall, so much easier. Okay, thank you. Sir. Relax as you can. Yeah. Yes. Move the whole thing. Just my two fingers. Look. I have okay, no, okay, no, okay, look, okay. look at this. No, I have no effort. Look. Okay. It's just two fingers. My whole racket? Yes. Yeah. Why is it no effort? If I have the ball here, look. I can hit with no effort. Not? But it was nice serve, huh? Yeah. It's so much better. No effort. Try and drop even more. So relax, 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 relax. No, I didn't drop, but good. Still much better. Still here. So much it's a lot better. Let's see if you can even miss. Just this a little bit more. Feel my racket. Hit the racket at the back. Relax. Better, better, better. It's okay. Without the ball again. Without the ball. I think that it's very important to you to do it without the ball. 100%. Practice without the ball. Yes. Because this is a muscle memory. Have you, you had movement without the ball? Yes. Now, right now, you have a muscle memory you from here. Yeah. When the ball comes <laughs> up, yeah, really. you go back to your muscle yeah. memory. And your muscle memory is here. Maybe I have you to be a half an hour doing it without yes. the ball. Yes. Okay. Yes. You're in your mouth, alone. You, need, yeah, to make, you need to make a new muscle memory. So to swing this and to make a new muscle memory, you need to make maybe uh, 1,000 yeah. 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 muscle memory. Yeah. 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 This is why now I only go from here. So when you throw, it's only from here. Okay. It's not from here. And then, then you when because now when the ball goes up, you go back to your original because your brain associates this with the original. Yeah. Yes. When we start, when we start here, up. Yes. Okay. Elbow to the ball. Like I go, I want to put my elbow to the ball. Okay. Yes. So my my elbow goes first before the. 
My elbow goes first before the arm. Yes. Yes. Yes, my elbow first, that's it. Elbow first, yes. The ball doesn't matter, yes. This is the one. Do you want maximum power on your serve? Well, if you're like most players, you could probably add around 20 miles per hour to your own serve using one trick. This trick is something most tennis players around the world overlook. Pro players, however, know this trick and use it to maximum effect when serving. It is the main power source for the serve, and we have just released a video that reveals this serve trick. To watch this video for free, click the link under this video right now.